If you are trying to get pregnant naturally, come grab your tea and come join me as we talk about three very important things you need to know before you're trying to get pregnant and that can help you get pregnant naturally. I'm Denise Neuer Erez and I'm known as the Fertility Godmother and I have been blessed to work with women all over the world to ease their journey as they prepare to get pregnant, stay pregnant, and have a healthy baby or babies. So today we're gonna unpack three specific, very important things that you need to know if you wanna get pregnant naturally. Hi Amy, good to see you, welcome. So if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to um, to chat, to type them in the chat. But if you are trying to get pregnant naturally, the one of the very first thing that's so important that I see so many women overlook and it's the importance of preparation. And so that means making sure that your body is in its best shape, not just you, but also your partner. You both wanna be as healthy as possible as you make this baby. So that means you want to prepare for three months. So that means things like making sure you're taking the right nutrients, that you have a nutrient rich foods mostly in your diet. And I have um, a whole bunch of videos you can watch. We can put some in the description here and uh, download on um, how to eat for your fertility. But you want to really eat nutrient dense foods. So that's preparing. But the key is it's really important to prepare your body for at least three months. So I say, I like to say 90 to 120 days. So let's say 100 days, okay? You really want to prepare before you conceive. Now you're not going to stop being healthy after, you know, after these three months. You want to continue to be healthy and may really make that your lifestyle. And I find that when women, instead of focusing on like, oh, it's a fertility diet, if you're focusing on a wellness diet, like a lifestyle, and just imagine yourself having energy and being fit and full and being vital so that you can not only have the, the nourishment to make a baby, hold a baby, and then you're gonna, uh, you, you wanna be able to enjoy your baby, you wanna have the energy. So it's a lifestyle, it's a wellness, it's a type of mentality, not just a short term while I'm, while I'm preparing to get pregnant. And I think that little pivot there makes a big difference in, in your mentality so I like to when I work with women who are wanting to conceive you know we, we look at the holistic picture we focus on we're focusing on diet and of course we're focusing on wanting to create the best environment possible to make a baby and making sure that everything's there but uh, the really the mindset shift is becoming as healthy as possible not just for the pregnancy right does that make sense if it makes sense give me a heart let me know if that makes sense. So the other thing that's really important is making sure that you have a balanced menstrual cycle. So what does that mean? So a normal menstrual cycle is about 28 days, plus or minus, but usually 28, 30 days is ideal. And you should um, have, you should have, that's called, you should bleed, or have a menstrual cycle for about four days. And then you should have what they call a follicular phase, right, which is from, the day it starts cycle day one when you start to bleed till ovulation and that's where your follicles growing and your endometrium lining is starting to thick and get really juicy estrogen starting to to increase and um, those are some things that's really important and ideally it's around 14 days because if it's shorter than that it doesn't give your egg enough time to mature and if it's longer then it's kind of like a banana where it's been sitting on the counter too long it's going to be overripe and there's a chance you can have an increased chance of miscarriage at that time. So it's ideal that you ovulate around that time. There are the follicles growing about for about 14 days and then it's released. So then you wanna get, uh, you wanna ovulate, right? And you wanna make sure that your body has the right fluids during that time of ovulation. They change, it changes through the cycle. So you want that, you've probably heard of, if you haven't, I'm excited to share with you, it's that stretchy egg white fertile mucus. And then you wanna have about a 14 day luteal phase. So these are things that are really important. If it's short, then it can cause some challenges, right? Maybe it's, you're not ovulating strong enough, maybe your 
progesterone isn't you know strong enough but it usually comes from ovulation from the corpus luteum after you've ovulated so there's some, some those are some things to pay attention to and, and to make sure so you want to really make sure you have a normal menstrual cycle balanced hormones is the key and the third thing that I see so often it's really really important is we want to have strong healthy swimmers so the men I always say that the dudes can too, or the dads can too. So the sperm and the sperm quality and the health of the man is just as important as the health of the woman while you're trying to conceive. And then of course the woman's body is going to be carrying the baby and that environment needs to be, you know, it's going to take it a step further. But while you're making a baby, you both want to be on board to be as healthy as possible to give your baby the best chances possible, right? You want them to be healthy, you want them to be strong, and you want to create that really good environment. And it takes two because you can't get pregnant without a male sperm. And so he actually, he does contribute to that whole process of not just, you know, the, making that embryo, but the whole growing of the baby. And you, you get to see that at the end. You get to see the combination of, of both of you at the end. So it's so important to make sure that the dudes count too and that they're on board becoming as healthy as possible on your journey to try to conceive, trying to conceive naturally or even if you're doing IVF, but today we're talking about uh, conceiving naturally. So there you have it, really important to do preconception care for at least a minimum of three months but not stopping after you do that because it takes about three months to really make a good um, to really have a good uh, impact the egg, to impact the cells in your body. And the second is to make sure you have a balanced menstrual cycle that's, you know, has the right amount of days in between the um, beginning of your period, ovulation, and the end of your period. And also, we want to have strong swimmers, strong, healthy swimmers too. There you have it. Make it a great day. Here's to your health, happiness, and your fertility. And I'll see you soon.